You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Welcome to the Rides Winning Insights, Horse and Rider's mini sewed series where we share audio lessons from Horse and Rider on demand trusted Western professionals. At Horse and Rider On Demand, you can enjoy hundreds of how-to videos from disciplines like reining, ranch riding, reined cow horse, natural horsemanship, and more. Plus, you'll get insider access to clinic footage and step-by-step tutorials taught by top-level Western professionals. Head over to ondemand.horseandrider.com and use promo code THERIDE for 15% off our basic membership. That's ondemand.horseandrider.com and code THERIDE for 15% off. On this episode of Winning Insights, listen to top professional and horseman Brad Barkmeyer discuss the importance of being prepared mentally before you step foot into that show ring. After you've prepped your horse and you know your pattern, Make sure that you're in a good state of mind before you head into the arena. This episode is brought to you by Sentinel. No one knows your horse's thoughts, emotions, and moods as well as you. Just as in touch as you are with their personality, Sentinel's expert nutritionists are in tune with their dietary needs. With feeds in the form of extruded nuggets to provide exceptional nutrition and formulas made for every life stage and activity level, Sentinel's wide choice of carefully crafted feeds makes it easy to find the perfect fit to better your horse's health. Learn more at feedsentinel.com slash western. That's feedsentinel.com slash western. So when you've done your homework, your horse is all ready to go, you've got your training done, you're comfortable with all the maneuvers, uh, you know your pattern, everything that goes along with showing a horse, you feel good about Now it's time for you to sit down and really take a good look at yourself. Make sure you're mentally prepared for what's about to happen. The more focused and mentally prepared you are, the more that that energy is gonna just transpire through you into your horse, creating a confident and hopefully very positive result. One of the ways that I mentally prepare myself is just visualizing the pattern and and I always like to uh, approach the actual show pen, especially if I'm late in the draw, I can go in and watch a couple people show in front of me. Uh, it gives me a good visual on where the markers are and how the ground is. Um, it lets me kind of get a feel for what the judges are looking for that day. And if it's a cow horse class, how the cattle are responding. Um, just all of those things that, that help you get mentally ready for that next run so that you're not faced with a lot of surprises once you get to into the show pen. Uh, the other thing I think is critical is just not over preparing. You know, we get out there in the, the warm up arena before we go into that show pen, see everybody getting all geared up and they're spinning and sliding and, and trying to get that intensity level up. But yet I think at the same time you utilize a lot of that focus and that adrenaline that you can use to your advantage in the show pen and it's wasted in the warm-up. So for me it's about being relaxed. Uh, It's really important to breathe and get a lot of oxygen in your system so that you've got that sharp mental focus and usually going in there with a really strong positive attitude comes out with a good positive result. This episode is brought to you by Sentinel. No one knows your horse's thoughts, emotions, and moods as well as you. Learn more at feedsentinel.com slash western. That's feedsentinel.com slash western. Thank you for tuning in to the Rides Winning Insights mini-sode podcast. We hope you enjoyed this mini-sode. Please be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and follow Horse and Rider on social media and at horseandrider.com to see all the cool things that we're up to. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to hit us up at horseandrider at equinenetwork.com. We love to hear from you guys. And if you love what you're listening to, please be sure to leave us a review on iTunes.